I'm gonna play as their heroes. Mid. Mid or feed. Cersei, Dampier, Monarch, Hammer. Best. Wow, can you read? I typed mid first. Oh my <laughs> god, team. Going fair. Oh my god, team. I team. Your stats aren't as good. I'm going mid. Too bad. Pyromancer. I don't, we'll both go in I don't care. Alright. So I've tried to do educational pyro three times. Uh, three times the game the game ended way too early. Way too early. Uh, I'll try and do it now. Dumek just subscribed. Thank you. Yeah, get Get your ass on the chair, please. Alright, so this game I'm against Shadowblade and Kronos. No matter what items I buy, those heroes are going to rate me at some point in the game. However, I'm going to need a sheep for Kronos. So, Pyro, very, very, very strong hero. However, with a very, very, very jukeable second skill. So Pyro has his problems, and he is a little unreliable, but overall fairly strong. Good tower pushing skill. I don't get, usually get that until level 10. You want to go top dip here? I don't find the uh, one magic damage per second to be amazing, it, though it does get you yeah. some uh, extra auto attacks Place off sometimes, trail. you know, or even lets you chase someone down. So I'm not going to say don't get it. it. It's still fairly good, but I, I personally prefer just pure... Pure burst damage until level 10. I, f I figure, since I always go mid as pyro, this is just mid pyro, right? So I I'm trying to murder them and get the hell out of there before somebody kills me. Alright, team. You've seen how a support should be played. Now do it. <laughs> do it like you've never done it before. I refuse. God damn it. Tell me how to live my life. <laughs> but it makes me feel so powerful. Oh, God, butterfly. Yeah, butterfly is in a dangerous spot there. Please mute. Uh, Alright. So, my personal mid pyro is different from most people's mid pyros. Uh, I prefer to get, like, a blink and an all stone or a shroud and an all stone, depending. Shroud is actually nice because it gives your combo that extra damage. Uh, it's the the crit and the extra auto attack damage actually contributes a whole lot. But portal key really lets you get in and out of there, so I like to get both to be honest. So uh, this is gonna be a try lane. So the first thing you'll notice with Pyro is that we like to play very aggressively. Um, I don't want to get in front of the wave just yet. Because he does have a ranged form, and he, he can jump on me as well. Not yet, though. So, I almost always throw a stun out as early as possible. In this case, it was a little late. Just for the, the, the mana regening aspect of it, you want to regen mana and get the most damage you can as soon as you start the lane. Crap. This is some poor last hitting. Wow. So as you can see, we use our stun to harass for the most part. Our Q is a good harasser as well, when the stun isn't an option. Um, mm, I guess, yeah, I guess they could have all five. I mean, that would suck. Let the flames fly. I haven't played Pyro in a little while. Excuse me. me. I could just lazy man Q this and see if I can hit him. Yeah. Time to do that. I could have let that go in the tower range. Too quick. All right. Yeah. So. I can get a refresher top. I'm gonna sell my tangos for a faster bottle. Come on, refresh room. All right. So we've oh, run okay. run him out of regen pretty effectively here. 
So, he is hurting. I love Pyro so much. So that's that's generally what you want to do with Pyro, is be very aggressive from the get-go. Run them out of regen. You have a very large mana pool for nuking people. Um, so am I. You are in a bit of a pickle. Now here I could drop my items to get a little more out of my bottle. Whoops, this is... Chilling by the tower. As you can see, they're tri landing bottom, so Kronos is going to be a big issue. Now, as I said, I I, st I love getting a null stone on Pyro. It lets me get in and out of so many situations. Uh, most people will get like some Steam Boots Grimoire build. Uh, it that's that's fine. That's totally good. Yeah. But oftentimes I'm the carry and I'm the focus of, of the enemy team, so a null stone is something I usually can't skip uh, because as soon as they sheep me or stun me or something, that could mean game over. In this case, I have a couple people who are okay, um, so I don't necessarily need to buy an all stone. But when you're the, say say you're like the only good player playing with a group of bad friends, a null stone is much much better in that case because the enemy team sees you as the main focus and they're gonna start casting, just dodging their initial uh, their initial opener on you will sometimes save you the game. So as you can see, we're just harassing them with their Q in this case because uh, the W is a little unreliable at this range. Torture has given them some support, so that kind of ruins our hard work that we've put into them. I really dislike that when uh, the support do the job. I, I went for this rune a little late. It's hard to get the bottom rune when there's a tri lane, or you know, a safe lane tri lane on the le on the legion side. Yeah, they got the rune. So. Here, Rhapsody tried to come in and get us. We saw her coming in with haste, though. So hooray for us. So Pyro doesn't have any escapes, so he has to use skills to defend himself. If you miss the W, you're done. So it, it's very unreliable. Uh, it's very jukeable. So it, it can be kind of scary. Even initiating with Pyro, uh, the, my best advice is just go for it. Unless, unless you know, like, you're, unless you're gonna, like, it's a stupid initiation. Don't go for it. But if you're going for like a solo kill on a guy and you feel like you can get away very safely, just go for it, right? I'm coming. Oh shit! Don't be scared of missing your stun. I miss stuns all the time. Uh, it's just, it's just in your head, really. If if you're, some people get really worried about missing stuff, but don't worry about it, really. Just don't worry about it. Just go for it. If you miss it, whatever. Everybody knows the old saying, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, and that's very true. Okay, it just is. So here, we're out of mana, so we can't kill that guy. We want to kill that guy, but we're not getting any ruins right now. So I could nuke this. I could nuke this down. But at least it's uphill, so I won't lose as much experience. Nah. Nah, what a waste. We got the experience from it, but... Rhapsody has invisibility and is coming top with it. We should probably get back. Yeah. So in this particular case, I actually want mana to kill people. Normally I'd sit mid and wait for my chalice. That's nothing. Okay. But because the support took my other rune earlier, um, which would have been a nice haste rune for me, I don't have as much mana as I'd like to, to have. So, you know this, since I'm against Shadowblade, uh, I don't want to ever combo him when he has his Q on. I might not kill him. I always want to do an initial stun test before trying to nuke him down. I could just Q him and ult him here if he comes up. And if he comes a little closer, I might just be able to blow him up like that. I'm gonna pull it 715. 
So everybody is being fairly cautious now. Didn't need to use my nuke there. Right now, checking out Chrono. He has steam boots. He doesn't have a health tube, which is good for us. Massacre. So we know that our bottom lane, despite being tri laned against, is slowing down his farm a little bit. Uh, he's not completely free farming, so I'm not gonna be like, oh, so, you know, like Chronos. Uh. <laughs> but beware. Right. If you want to eat it. Okay. Regeneration! Alright, that, that is beautiful. Life With that regen rune, I'm probably gonna farm some jungle camps. Just to speed up the whole process here. I could have sworn before a certain patch you used to be able to click on the rune and it'd still go to it in fog, but now, now I'm not sure. So sometimes I turn around, but. Oops, I leveled up my E. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes I actually level up my E if I think I'm gonna if I think I'm gonna push the tower a little more. So it's totally fine to do it. Like as I said earlier, it's it's fine to do it, but in this case it was a mistake, I didn't mean to. I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, I knew he was gone, so I was pushing the tower. Nah, I still I still almost always level up my thing, but he is gone, so we are pushing the tower a little faster. So it's working out for us. Yeah, the lane on the way. And by a little faster, it, it really Fail. contributes Fail. a whole lot. So here, we almost got the tower, we almost got our portal key. Oh. So, you forgot to tread swap, Testy. I have a regen rune, I don't need to tread swap. I'm killing creeps. Do you always go chalice on pyro? Uh, because, yes, I, I, I often do. I prefer a chalice over a grave locket. Um. It's just the way I play mid solo pyro. I feel it's very successful. Um, I don't know. It's, it's one of my favorite mids to play. It's not one of my. I'm not. I'm not sure if it's one of my best mids to play, but it's one of my favorites. Because a lot can go wrong with a mid solo pyro because the animation can be abused against other heroes with a great animation, right? Let's get to it. So here, rather than farming creeps, I'm okay, actually going important. to try and farm Kronos. Regeneration. Is that, that Can you stun any of them in this lane whatsoever? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, they just back. Stun, Wait, stun. Just, At I any mean, time, I can portal key. Ready, go. Alright. So here... Yeah, see, we saved our stun there for when he came up. That worked out for us very nicely. Does a bottle always necessary on puppet mid? No, I already have a I already have a puppet educational. Uh, please check. Please check YouTube. Um, you don't get a. I normally don't get a bottle on puppet mid. You shouldn't do it. It slows you down. Uh, your goal is to get that whispering helm as far as fast as possible and farm the jungle really. So here I'm just gonna be farming jungle because the lane positions it's all very far in their favor. Uh, I can port at any time if we think we can kill. But right now they may be putting a lot of people on bottom is what I was about to say. And they have three people down there I think. At least. So as you can see, we can farm jungle very fast. Careful, butterfly. Get that in level two ultimate. Consuming. She was. 
guides me. Pyromancer at your service. What the fuck? Yeah, that is poor bottom. Don't just stand back. Yeah, all the way back. So here I'm not gonna buy an item yet for myself. I don't have my ultimate yet. We might be able to stun one, but they can probably beat our ass. So here I want to go in, but they have good counter initiation with Chrono Assault and Hagal. Um, I could just go farm at this point, really. Because I don't have my ultimate no Alright, so he definitely has a ward down there at some, at some point. The Legion have destroyed the oh, shit. Fire. So they're grouped up a lot right now. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna start building my null stone. Most people, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna recommend Grimoire on on Pyro, just so that people don't flip their shit and tell me you should always go Grimoire on Pyro, Testy. You know, so I'm gonna recommend Grimoire for you guys on Pyro. Uh, for me, I'm gonna recommend null stone. And as you can see, I think, I think. I think it's got a pretty good percentage for me, so it's working out for me, personally. Uh, I'm just getting started. Regeneration. Got three of them. So right now, what I could do is ask for some aggressive wards. If we have any in shop, we don't, because as you can see, they're used. We have one down there, that's nice. Uh, agents are tripled. Okay. Delusion. Alright. Please, please stop messaging me. Uh, so there we were just kind of at a vision hiding in trees and got a kill out of it. Nice. I'm the thing I'm gonna do. Here we're gonna use our chalice before using the bottle. The fire guides me. I didn't. Didn't necessarily need to in this case, but. Oh! So here they just grouped up a whole lot. Thank you. Hammer, kill this motherfucker. There we moved uh, slightly uh, just. Uh, stone, so we didn't have to use our W to kill those creeps. Now right now, usually when I don't have my ultimate up, I always farm. It's very standard, just so that I get level uh, 16 faster. But yeah, at this point in the game, normally for other people, I'll, not just a grimoire, not just a grimoire, I'll recommend a sheep as well. Uh, Portal Key Sheep is amazing on Pyro. Portal Key Grimoire is alright as well. There's really no reason not to go either route. But as I said, personally for me, Portal Key, Null Stone, Sheep, and then Shroud works very, very nicely for me personally. So. So yeah, I didn't get to, as I said, so that's just like the last few Pyro games is my educationals. I guess I'll upload that one as like an educational mini. <laughs> I'll, I'll elaborate on Pyro eventually when I get to get the chance. Uh,
SD, please play for Kronos, non educational. stream now as you know these educationals that I have uh, I upload them to YouTube uh, right now my my uh, guy one second So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Uh, this is this is the guy who has been helping me with the, the educationals. Uh, I'm I'm releasing them a little slower, but uh, I'm letting him do the editing on them. Um, well, he's just helping me, and I I thank God that I have him. It's very nice. Um, at some point, I know I asked for donations recently, but uh, I'm actually gonna ask for donations at some point so that I can pay my editor. Uh, streaming, uh, if I show you my streaming, you'll have to trust me. For the last, let's say I streamed 24 hours this month, so far? Nah, more than that. Yeah, about 24 hours, maybe a little more. And the stream itself made a whopping $20. So, making the big bucks right here, right now. Uh, so, if anyone would 